JT was such an amazing man. I have a photograph in my room. When I open my eyes in the morning, it's the first thing that I see. He loved people, he loved life. Obviously it was a huge hardship, but he, he just seemed to accept that that was God's plan. He's our strength, he's our pillar. And here's a guy with a broken body, but his spirit was so strong. When you give back, it's the greatest feeling you could ever have. And JT taught us, really showed us how to take it to another level. Here was a kid who was headed to Florida State on a football scholarship and he was going to change the world for his family. And that all changed in just a matter of seconds. We never had any idea the needs of the disabled community. When we started this foundation, it was really more to give JT an opportunity to have work and fulfill his dream of repaying the community. When JT was alive, he delivered every single piece of equipment. He would go and sit in their bedroom with them and they would just talk amongst themselves. He showed them that you don't have to sit alone in your bedroom. You can go to college. You can get a degree. You can start a foundation. There's no limit to what you can do. Today I'm sitting here before you three years two months, six days since the most unreal news the family's ever had. The first question I asked was, is it cancer? And she said, most likely it is. It's easy to crawl into the bed and not face it and just, you know, focus on what is happening in my body. Or I can try to get up, look out, say today is a good day. In any cancer, Early detection is the single greatest tool. As you may or may not know, in pancreatic cancer, there is no early detection. You can have physical after physical, year after year, and it'll never show up. So we have to raise awareness on early detection. The good news about the Mayo Clinic is they're not only advising on studies locally, but they're advising studies on a worldwide basis. Hope is really the key here. Hope for a method of early detection. We can never give up our hope. God gives us hope, and that is what this tournament is all about, hope. JT's spirit of smiling every day lives through Judy. She smiles every day, but not only does she smile, she wants to save the world. Two unbelievable attitudes coming together and then Tommy's dream of putting a tournament together and what better reason than to, to have it for those two. When you're done with those two days, you made a difference in people's lives. You were on the ground floor of helping two people that made a difference in Jacksonville and hopefully make a difference in the world.
Tonight is a dream for me. This event is a dream come true. I'm so thankful.